Hi everyone, welcome to Workplace TV. Do you have the right to fire an employee for yelling and cursing at you and throwing over a chair in your office? You would think so, right? Of course. You shouldn't have to tolerate anyone talking to you like that. What if the employee was complaining to you about company policies or their working conditions and you told them that if they didn't like it, they could walk out the door and then they lost their temper? Could you fire them without a problem in that situation? If you said yes and yes, you'd be wrong and maybe even in violation of the National Labor Relations Act or the NLRA for committing an unfair labor practice. Many people wrongly believe that the NLRA only applies to union employers and employees. This law applies to non-union employers and employees as well. In fact, under the law, all employees have the right to engage in concerted protected activity without fear of retaliation. This usually involves employees complaining about the vacation policy or having to work overtime or their wages. In general, employers can terminate an employee for yelling at a manager with or without profanity, but if an employee loses their temper because they change the overtime policy or because they discipline them for talking about their wages, you might have to take it so long as it is not menacing, physically aggressive, or belligerent conduct, standard to be met in this kind of a situation. What I have just described to you is based on a recent case where a car salesman, after complaining about the brakes, his restroom use, and his commissions, among other things, was called into his boss's office and told that he was negatively affecting the other employees, and if he didn't trust the company, he could just leave, at which point the employee called his boss, among other things, an a**ing mother an a**ing crook, and an a**ing. The law is intended to provide a balance for an employee's right to engage in concerted activity with an employer's need to maintain respect within the organization. Be careful how you tread here. Remember, an employee that shouts profanities does not automatically lose their rights under the law, in particular if they're complaining about their terms or conditions of employment. Your first line of defense shouldn't be to stifle the complaining employee. It should be to listen and to understand their complaint. You might not always like how they're sharing. Understandable, just don't lose sight of the fact that there might be a valid complaint in there somewhere. I'm Lisa Yankowitz, and that's what you need to know today.